Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in ChatGPT and we're going to be trying out and using the new CapCut plugin. And the reason why we're doing this is because we can now create one prompt, one click videos that we can upload to social media, we could upload them to YouTube. I'm gonna be honest with you, they're not the greatest, but the plugin just came out and I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step. So let's get going. So I'm in chat, I'm in chat, GPT, I'm just going to go over to the left side, click on new chat. When you do that, I've got the CapCut plugin installed. There's a good chance you don't have it installed, so let me show you how to do that. All you need to do is just make sure you're on GPT-4, click on no plugins enabled, go to the plugin store, and then just type it in. So I'm looking for CapCut. So I just typed in CapCut and presto, there it is. I would just click on install it right now. There you go. I'm just going to click on install, reinstall it. There we go, come back out, you'll see CapCut is installed. The next step, and it's really this simple, I'm just gonna type in create a, a video about Pearl, I don't know, let's go with a war, let's go with a battle harbor in square format, because maybe I wanna pu publish this to Facebook or something like that. Literally, that's it, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit enter, or I'm gonna press the little purple arrow and now watch this it's going to go ahead it's going to say it's using cap cut if you click on this little drop down arrow you'll see exactly what it's doing it'll even tells you what the content is so you can sort of you know see it as it gets created crazy stuff and then i'll close that back up and then once this is done we get a link and then literally that's the end of it i've created a video about the attack on pearl harbor in a square format you can watch it by clicking the following link let's go ahead and watch the video click on that and here we go. Now, you'll see here that it's loading. It's going to take just a few seconds. I'll come back when it's done. I'll show you what we got. And then I'm going to show you how to make some basic edits while you're there. All right, here we go. So it has loaded up CapCut for us already. You do need to have an account with them. If you don't, it'll ask you to sign up for free. But this is all free. Look at this. I'll hit space bar. It's going to be a little loud, but don't worry. I'll show you how to reduce that volume. And then we'll show you how to make some a few of these little edits here as well. So I'll hit space bar, show you what we got. The attack on Pearl Harbor was a surprise military. Okay, so not bad. I'll scrub through. You'll see here, it's got another image here, and it's got some pretty relevant images. This is not going to, again, this isn't going to win you an Oscar, let me tell you that right now. Um, and I'm not sure what that is. That looks like a mistake of some sort. But let me show you. So when I hit spacebar, the audio is too loud. So this is what we got out of the box. Let me show you how to make some edits. So I'm going to go ahead and just sort of pull this up a little bit. Now, at the bottom layer here, this is the audio track, and you'll see it's 56 seconds long. It's the exact duration of the video. I'm going to double click on it, and when I do that, I get the option to adjust the volume under basic, and I'm going to pull this down to about minus 14. Now, this is totally up to you, but what we're doing is we're reducing the background music audio, which was too loud. So now I'll hit play. Listen to this. The attack on Pearl Harbor was a surprise military strike. Okay, and it sort of sounds like we're not at a World War II battle, we're at a ballet class. So the audio isn't quite correct in my opinion. So what are we going to do? Simple. I'm just going to go over here to the left side and you'll see audio on the toolbar here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and maybe pick something that's a little bit more to my liking. So let's listen to this. Okay, maybe not that one. I'm looking for something that's at least 56 seconds long. Okay, maybe not uh, this one here. All right, cool, whatever. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this track by just clicking the delete button and you'll see it's gone. I'm gonna grab this one here. I'm gonna left click on it. And then I'm gonna try that again. I'm gonna drag that in and I'm just gonna start it right at the beginning. Now listen, we've swapped out the audio track. The attack on Pearl Harbor. Again, it's too loud, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click on the audio track. I'm going to go up here to the right this time at the top right. going to click on basic, and then I'm going to reduce it by like 14 decibels so the so that the uh, voice generation is more, uh, you can hear it a little better. So now I'll hit play. The attack on Pearl Harbor was a surprise military strike by the Imperial Japanese Navy against the... Okay, so it's a little bit better, but let's say we don't like maybe the... Uh, visual. So for example, if I move my playhead forward to here, this visual does not look correct. It just says Adobe Illustrator with a bunch of uh, script that I don't understand. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to delete it. And you'll see here that it has gone ahead and closed it for me. So it's gone ahead and removed it. 
and it's gone ahead and ripple deleted. Now I'm gonna Command Z or Control Z. I can also replace it. So if I go to the left side, instead of saying this image, I'm gonna to go to Stock Videos, and then I can search for something like, I don't know, Battle, and let's see if we get anything. Uh, okay, not so good, Battleships is not what I wanted. But let's say I like this panda, and this is the panda that I wanna use. I'm gonna click on this video, I'm gonna click on this little image here, this video actually, and I'm gonna drag and drop it right on top of the uh, previous photo. So I'm gonna drop it right there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make sure that it fits. I'm gonna delete any volume, click on done, and now watch this. 103 American lives. The event okay, so we've got some weird stuff going on here. This has actually gone ahead and been replaced as well, but let's say I wanna replace that with this, I don't know, school of fish. I can just drag and drop it right on top, Presto, can't replace media, needs to be shorter than the original material. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Uh, it needs to be, uh, so I'm gonna take this one, drop it right on there. There we go, see that? I've got a top-down shot, and basically I'm just going in and replacing footage that I don't like. I've replaced the audio, I've reduced the audio, so, uh, the audio decibel level so that it's not as intrusive and it's not so nasty, and then I just hit play and listen to this. From interfering with Japan's planned military actions in South... That is literally it. And let's say I want to maybe make sure that it stops everything at the edge here. I'm going to pull this song to the edge. I'm going to delete this piece. I'm going to delete this piece. And then I'm just going to pull this to the edge. And literally, we've got the entire thing done inside. Now, this is one prompt, one click. But these are the techniques you need to use to create videos without even having to really know how to edit video whatsoever. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.